Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Welcome, welcome, welcome on this wonderful, yes, Friday. Inspirational Friday, that is. Don't forget, you guys, to click that like button, click that share button, and go on over to YouTube. Smash up that subscribe button for me. Smash it up. <laughs> Inspirational Friday. So I have another fun, exciting, and inspirational story that I will be reading to you today. Um, first, I'm going to shout out to my grandbabies, all four of them. Yes, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. Love you guys. Miss you so much. Miss you. Anyway, the book that I'll be reading from today, Kindergarten Bible Story Guide. Kindergarten Bible Story Guide. And just know that this is not just for kindergartners. It's for all ages. It's a story for all ages. All ages can listen to it and enjoy. Let's jump into it. The, the story, I, there's plenty of stories in this book, as you can see. And I will be reading The Big Big Tree. The Big Big Tree. <laughs> the Big Big Tree. I'm trying to see which, what number story that is, but... It doesn't say on the back. Lesson number nine, the big, big tree. Grow in the grace of Jesus, 2 Peter 3, verse 18. The big, big tree. Have you ever planted a seed, you guys? Gone outside in the dirt and take a seed and plant it. Did it grow fast or did it grow slow? Short or was it tall? Are you growing? Many of the people who came to listen to Jesus, many of them, uh, were farmers who grew things in the ground. So Jesus used a little story about a seed to help them understand God's kingdom, the place where he is king. God's kingdom, said Jesus, is like a mustard seed. The people who were listening to Jesus knew a mustard seed is tiny, tiny, tiny one of the smallest seeds they grew. But when a farmer plants that tiny seed in his field, it grows and grows until it becomes a big tree. Then birds come and build nests in its branches. What did Jesus mean by saying that a tiny seed is like God's kingdom? What did he mean? Jesus meant that the first time you ask him to come and live in your heart, he plants a seed of love inside of you. Every time you, every time, wait, every time you hear Bible stories, this is the second page, Let's see, every time you hear Bible stories and every time you ask him into your life, the plant grows bigger and stronger. Soon everyone can see it. They know that you have God's love in your heart. They know that Jesus is your best friend. Other people will want to be around you, just as the birds came to build their nests in the branches of the mustard seed. That's what Jesus meant when he said that God's kingdom is like a mustard seed. But he also meant that the story of his love would begin with just a few people. The people who knew him when he lived on earth are like the tiny seed, as they told their people about him, more people followed him, like the plant that grew bigger. Each time someone shares a Bible story or tells someone else about Jesus' love for them, the plant of God's love grows still bigger. When everyone who loves Jesus tells someone else about him, the plant turns into a tree. More and more people want to hear about Jesus just as people want to rest under a cool, shady tree. And birds want to build their nests in its branches. Is that what Jesus meant when he said a tiny seed is like God's love? Hmm. Is that what Jesus meant? Hmm. Jesus meant two things. He meant two things. Can, can you guess what they are? Hmm. He meant two things. Let's see what it says. God's love is like a tiny seed that grows in your heart 
every time you learn more about him and as you ask him each day to come into your life and God's kingdom grows bigger and bigger each time someone else learns about his love. God's love does help us grow to be more like him. The end of that story. Here is a do and say. You can pause this and read this. Pause and read. Can you see? Do and say, pause and read. Something to do every day. There's Sabbath, there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Do and say. Yes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Today's was a little short, I know. But I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I hope it um, did inspire you to tell everyone about Jesus and let that word and everything just grow and grow and grow. The more people that know about him, the better. When believe in him, the better, the better, the better. Shout out to my mom, who's always here. Thanks, mom, for being here. Shout out to Patsy. Let me see who else is here. Um, shout out to my friend. My friend, Sadie, my longtime friend, Sadie. Thanks for being here and showing support. Thanks to my cousin, Patsy, and her crew, her family. Her family, all her babies are always, every day, um, sit in and listen to me read. And, and, they, and they enjoy it. And I thank you for that. Shout out to my cousin, Elid, my friend, Victoria, my friend, Sheena G, and Shandrika, who share my videos every day which allows other people to listen to all these books and encourages them to pick up a book or a story like this one in the kindergarten book, a story, and they can read it, encourages them to read it. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Like the big, big tree, right? Thank you for being here and thank you for listening on this inspirational Friday. Don't forget to go on over to YouTube, go to Audrey's reading area and smash Smash that subscribe button for me. Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Alexa, what time is Audrey's reading area? Audrey reads in her area live at 5 o'clock p.m. Yes, live at 5. I'll see you on Monday. Live at 5. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. See you guys soon.